everyone. I am Aisha from the Razorpay integrations team. In this video, I will show how you can integrate the Razorpay payment gateway with your Java website. Razorpay supports seven server languages. In this tutorial, we'll walk through the process of setting up and implementing Razorpay payment gateway in a Java-based application. To integrate Razorpay payment gateway with your website, you must complete these steps in the front end and on the server. Create an order using Orders API. Add Razorpay checkout sample code to your website and pass the order ID to checkout. Verify payment signature. Verify payment status. Before we begin, ensure you have the following Java installed on your system. In this video, we will use Java 1.8.0. Ensure you use the latest version of Java while integrating. A code editor like Visual Studio Code. Basic knowledge of HTML and Java. Access to your Razorpay dashboard account with your API key ID and secret. To interact with the Razorpay APIs, you need API keys. Download the test mode API keys from the Razorpay dashboard. Once you complete the KYC process, you can download the live mode API keys. Your project should have these files. Let's create a new Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer. Set the configurations. Add the Spring Web dependency. Download the project and open it on VSC. We need to add the Razorpay Java SDK dependency to our pom.xml file. Inside the dependencies tag, add the code. Maven will automatically download the SDK. If you encounter errors, run the command in your terminal. Let us use Razorpay Orders API to create an order. Order is an important step in the payment acceptance cycle. Once an order is created in the server, that is, the payment controller.java file, an order ID is generated in the response. You need to send this order ID to the checkout in the index.html file. Now, let's create a controller to handle our API endpoints. Create payment controller.java inside the com.example.payment package. Save the file. We'll create a simple HTML page to accept user payment. This page will have a pay button that will be used to trigger the payment process. Create an HTML file as index.html. Now that you have set up the server and the front end, you can start your Java application. In the top menu, Click Run, Start Debugging. In the application.properties file, name the server port. Visit localhost in your web browser and you should see the Pay Now button. Once the integration goes live, you can choose to use either a handler function or a callback URL to process payment responses. In this video, we are using a callback URL. In the front end, that is, index.html ensure that callback URL parameter is passed. Razorpay sends a callback to the sample app server. We'll implement a route to handle this callback, verify the payment and update the transaction status. Add the following code in the payment controller.java file. In the imports section add the code. After the orders code, add the code. Create two files, success.html and failure.html under static. If a payment is successful, the user is redirected to the success.html page and in case of failure, to the failure.html page.
Let's test the payment integration by making a test payment on the application. We'll use the test card details provided by Razorpay for testing purposes. You can verify the payment status on the Razorpay dashboard. Log into the Razorpay dashboard. Navigate to Transactions Payments. Click the payment ID to view and confirm the transaction details. Congratulations! Our payment integration is working smoothly in the test mode. To accept payments in live mode and collect real-world payments, replace the test API keys with live API keys. Ensure the KYC is complete for your account to accept and settle payments as per your settlement cycle. You've successfully integrated the Razorpay payment gateway with your Java stack. You can now accept payments securely on your Java web application. If you have any issues or questions, refer to the Razorpay documentation or leave a comment below. Happy coding!